Hello, today we're going to learn how to do word association with R. I'm assuming you probably have uh, seen some of my videos before, so I'm starting right after where we left off from the word cloud. So that is, you must run Twitter with R or Facebook with R, and at the end, you will probably see a word cloud that you see here on the bottom right of the screen. So I'm assuming that actually you have done that. Okay, once you have done that, what we want to see is that let's try to see whether there are any word associations among the words that we see here. Okay, if you see the word cloud here in the bottom right corner, you'll notice that I probably did a um, word cloud for Spotify. Okay, and Spotify is a pretty famous uh, music streaming site. And with that, um, we would notice that there is a lot of um, uh, words that is related to uh, music and streaming. So we, what we would like to see is that, are there any word association with particular words being more frequently used with a different particular word? Okay, so having that said, what we're gonna do first is that it seems that there is an exo here. Okay, and EXO, if you know, that's a pretty famous K-pop brand. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to try to find a word association with EXO. Okay, so um, I'm going to find a word association with EXO, and I'm going to limit my correlation with 07. Okay, now obviously I could change this value, but for now I'm going to use 07. And let's try to see what are some of the common words that are being used with EXO. Okay, so I'm going to execute this line, and it seems that EXO is commonly used with artist, music, and billboard, okay, which is not too surprising. And I can actually probably expand the list, say uh, correlation limit as 04. Okay, and if I do that, and I would see that there is a lot more words that is being used with EXO. Okay, so that is, you would notice that there are some other words that might maybe not as commonly used with um, artists or music or billboard, some, but some other things are possibly commonly used with um, this word. Okay, the next thing that we could probably do is that let's try to draw a word association with and drawing a dendrogram. Okay, so in order to run a dendrogram, you would have to use a remove sparse term first and then Later on, we need to calculate the distance matrix of each of the words, and I'm going to use the Euclidean method. And I'm going to use a H cluster, which is standing for a hierarchical clustering. So it is a cluster analysis that I'm doing here. Okay, and if I draw a plot, okay, and this is the plot that I'm getting, and you would notice that there is going to be clusters being made with particular words. Okay, what these clusters are indicating is that if it's in the same cluster, those two words are commonly used. Okay, for example, you would notice that EXO is being clustered with billboard. Okay, maybe billboard, maybe billboard, maybe build uh, a rank high up on billboard. Maybe that's what people are uh, commonly uh, tweeting about on their accounts. And you would notice that it is also associated with iTunes and music. Okay. So you would notice that these are the words that is commonly used with the, um, the K-pop uh, band called EXO. Okay? Now there's another cluster that you would see here is that I would say that right here there is a HOPE, BTS, and NOW. Okay? And you would notice that BTS, TWT, BTS is another um, K-pop uh, band. And Particularly at this time, it seems that um, BTS is being popularly tweeted among the uh, Spotify Twitter uh, accounts. Okay, and that's why you're seeing this that is commonly being uh, uh, used within sentences of the Twitters, uh, Twitter uh, messages. Okay, and there is another um, cluster here which is uh, grouped with BTS chart data, listen month, J Hope, and Million. Okay. So it seems that these are the ones that are commonly being used around uh, Spotify. And if you know that J-Hope, I looked it up. I Honestly, I didn't know who J-Hope was, but J-Hope is actually a member of BTS. And BTS, you all know that it's a, another uh, band, and he's a member of it. And it seems that a lot of people are tweeting about um, J-Hope at this particular time. 
Okay, so you will notice that there are particularly three areas that people are currently tweeting around um, Spotify, which is uh, BTS Twitter, and there is some people talking about J-Hope, and another uh, band talking about EXO. Okay, and finally, let's try to visualize the view uh, by using a k-means cluster. Okay. And um, since we noticed that there are seems to be three clusters, so that I'm going to set k-means as three. Okay, obviously you can change this to two, but however, it seems that I noticed that there is clearly a three cluster down here. So I'm setting this as three. Okay, now I'm going to execute these two lines to see a k-means cluster. And if I do that, it seems that this is what I'm getting. Okay, so there are three clusters. So that is... It seems that um, cluster one, it's just Spotify by itself. It's kind of just staying by itself. And some people are talking about EXO here, and some people are talking about BTS chart and BTS. Okay, so that is, it seems that going back to our hierarchical clustering, Spotify is by itself. And BTS, it seems that they're considering these a uh, big chunk as one cluster. And the next cluster is uh, along with EXO. Okay, so this is one, Spotify is one, BTS, this is two, and this is three that is related to EXO. Okay, so that is why you see these three clusters, Spotify by itself, and EXO right here, and BTS right here at three. Okay, okay so hopefully this was a good introduction of trying to do some word association, um, try to come up with association, what people talk about around um, uh, Twitter uh, related to Spotify. Hope that this um, uh, message, uh, this uh, video would help you understand word association. Okay, thank you.